Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by my channel. I'd like to thank all my subscribers for helping me reach the milestone of 101 subscribers. Thank you my friends for all of your encouragement and support and help in building my channel. In this video, I will be reviewing the Greenlight Hitch and Tow 1972 Jeep CJ5 and Teardrop Trailer. This Jeep is one of four in the series. What I like best about this pairing is the half cab Jeep and the teardrop trailer. Take a look at these crazy tires, how out of round they are. I'm not sure if they came from the factory this way or got hot in the distribution chain and melted. Can you imagine driving down the road on tires like that? Greenlight has put a lot of detail on this casting from the side markers front and rear to the Jeep with the AMC logo right below it. This casting looks great with the clear headlights and the amber lights on the front. The door handles are raised and painted black and the tail lights are also raised with the red brake lights and the clear backup lights. I don't know what that silver one is. This casting has a metal body and a metal base that has some detail on it and a really robust looking trailer hitch. And the uh, top is plastic, of course, but it's well done. And also it has really nicely done painted windshield wipers and the top is removable. And it has a nicely done interior. It actually has a regular looking steering wheel. And you can see the shifters. There's a transfer case shifter on the floor. I don't know if you can see that. And a well done dash. It even has the bar over the glove compartment for the passenger to hold on to when the going gets rough. The trailer is metal body and metal base with rubber tires. And the trailer hitch is metal also. Very fine detail around the doors and it has the tail lights. And I really like the wheels on this and the hubcaps. They really look good, and I wish that the Jeep had done something like that instead of the white wheels. The movable features on this casting are the front jack and the pop-up rear door where the cabinets for the trailer are, and there's a stove. Very nice. Here is a CJ7 Renegade next to the CJ5. The CJ7 is bigger than the CJ5 as it should be. You can tell by looking at the rear end that these are two different castings. These castings would make a fine addition to any 164th scale collection. I would be surprised if all the Jeeps in these sets have the tire problem that mine does. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. See you next time.